Hey everyone, it's Rob from Riddle Me That. I'm gonna show you how to do a budget in a different way than you see a lot of the real simple budgets done. I, I created this method for myself. I'm not sure if other people are doing it, but I kind of call it the cash flow budget, which helps you predict the future of your budget, which is what my real problem was at the time. My problem was I wasn't sure when I was gonna run out of money, how much could I pay to this or pay to that, and still have money left uh, at the end of the month. Okay, so you're probably used to seeing a budget like this. You got your income and expenses and your balance, um, which is a normal way to budget, but this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be what's called a cash flow sheet. A budget is great at telling you what's happened or what you plan to happen on a monthly basis, but obviously every month can change. Things come up, you don't know how much you're going to pay to a credit card a given month, etc. Um, so this is different in that the goal of this is to predict the future of what your cash flow is going to be, not just look at the past because it, you may say, hey, if I buy this couch right now, am I going to be able to make rent? I've been using this sheet now for 12 years. You can see basically here's how it works. So you're going to enter your payday and then if you have any savings and 401k deposit, put that in here. It's so going to automatically add that to your running balances. When you do something like a vacation, consider a discretionary spending that's going to subtract. So basically it's a running addition and subtraction of these, of these columns. Now the good thing is you can say, hey, I'm gonna get paid this much every two weeks and you can just keep putting that in. Just control copy. Use control copy on these sheets, by the way, because cutting and pasting messes it up. Anyway, you can see, okay, my cash is going up, up, up. Obviously I have to put in the expenses, but you can kind of put in the expenses as well. Just simply copy. You know, might be a mortgage, whatever it is. So it's subtracting back down now. All right, friends, I hope that's helpful in explaining how it works. I'm gonna give away these uh, spreadsheets um, in my Google Drive. So just you can just take a copy and download them for yourselves and fill one in for yourself. So there's examples in there and then there's what you're gonna use on the tabs. It's worked out really awesome for me. You don't have to put in every little expense, like just say like, hey, I spend $200 a week on groceries and eating out, for example. You know, kind of try to estimate things and get the bigger things in there so there's not too much craziness going on. But the big thing is understanding what's going on with your money and not just now, or what happened, but what's going to happen. Also um, talks about building your net worth. So check out my net worth uh, video as well. I'll put the link to that in the description and also the net worth calc uh, spreadsheet as well. Because it, again, it, I always am looking at the future, not just where am I at today, but where am I going? What is my net worth gonna be in 10 years? When will I be a millionaire? Those are important questions, right? So let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Please give this video a like. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks.